Hi, good evening. This is Mark from JTech again. And this evening what we're going to do is cover uh, a little bit of the dynamics of the uh, clock spring. The clock spring is found, for those of you that don't know, under, uh, in your steering wheel, in the steering column, around the steering column with this hole. And what the clock spring does is allows the steering column or the steering wheels to turn in a circle and keep in connectivity electrically with the uh, with the electrical circuits that are in the column by plugging into here and these wires here are utilized for anything from the yellow ones are always airbags left and right respectively and then you got uh, either your radio controls here uh, with this particular wire let me stand out of the way so you can see it with this particular wire, you have your radio controls and probably your cruise control, or they may all be cruise control with a vehicle that doesn't have radio in the uh, uh, radio controls in the uh, steering wheel. So anyway, what I wanted to do today was kind of break this down for you folks, so you can kind of see what a clock spring looks like out of the car. And so if you ever have a mechanic tell you, hey, uh, you know your clock spring is broke. Uh, or you are a mechanic and you have to explain to a customer that the clock spring is broke at least you can kind of show them what it is and basically how it operates now what I've done is I've taken the liberty of taking this clock spring and loosen it up so I can pull it apart so you can see the actual internals to this thing alright so uh, if you'll bear with me I'm going to take this top cap off keeping my finger on the clock spring itself and pulling that apart. Okay, this is your top cap. Not much to it. It's just a just a genuine plastic cap and it's got a bunch of little uh, tabs on the bottom that allow it to uh, to actually clip this together. So I'm going to set this to the side right now and with that being said I'm going to tilt this down just a little bit. There we go. Alright, now as you can see what we have here is the internal workings of a clock spring. Alright, I'm holding this in with my finger so this thing doesn't pop apart yet. As you can see, the clock spring is nothing more than a, a uh, ribbon tape that has electrical wires in it. If you look at it, you can kind of see those little ribbons of wire there that's copper inside this plastic. And this is designed to flex. And this goes in and comes around the last circle here and then these wires are actually molded to this these wires are actually molded to this plug which uh, also is connected if you can see it to the electrical connections here in the base alright now what I'm going to do is on this clock spring I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and hold the clock spring itself wound up or the ribbon tape wound tight and then this is the rest of what you have in a clock spring. This is a nesting assembly that allows the spring to rotate and come back. As you can see, a clock spring is nothing more than a, a ribbon tape. And what this allows you to do is to take and turn your steering wheel one direction. And this tape may get looser and looser as you turn it one direction. And then when you go back the other direction, it'll get tighter and tighter. That's kind of how these work. And like I said, this is nothing more than just a ribbon. I'm going to unwind it now. It's not real long. There's nothing springy about it. This is just what it looks like. This is the ribbon tape inside your clock spring. Okay. This ribbon tape carries all the current for all the necessities that are in the steering wheel that you have to have. So this, you know, within this plastic here, this ribbon is actually connected to all these wires. So the wires, anything that you see here, two, four, six, eight, ten wires, these ribbons share that, uh, that connectivity from here to, once again, where it plugs into the steering column. And you really can't see that, but there's, uh, there's brass tabs in there for this thing to connect to. So, once you have that apart, this is what it connects to right there. These are the, the pins that it connects to, uh, the connector that plugs into it. And once you have this uh, set back in, 
then you can connect it right up, no problem. Now, the one thing to remember is you cannot, as a general rule of thumb, you cannot repair a clock spring. Once the ribbon is broke, the ribbon is broke, and you have to replace it as a whole. A manufacturer does not send rebuild kits for this. So, ultimately, you have to uh, you have to turn around and uh, just remove it and replace it. And, uh, like I said, there's no there's really no mystery behind the clock spring other than it's just a ribbon tape and it allows the steering wheel to turn one direction or the other without uh, without binding and it allows it uh, with uh, to uh, main connectivity maintain connectivity. Used to be a time we would have a copper disc on the bottom of the steering column that had little copper tabs that would touch three copper bands and they they are what uh, maintain connectivity for the uh, for the uh, what the clock spring does now for all the electronics that were in it for cruise control and what have you but they no longer do that they have clock springs and that's pretty much the uh, the gist of it there's nothing real mysterious about it it doesn't keep time other than where it's at when it's tracking left or right and uh, for the most part that's the end of my demonstration for today I hope it was helpful and uh, see your local mechanic if you have any questions and if you are a mechanic uh, good luck uh, once again it's just an item that's uh, remove and replace and that's pretty much it well I hope you have a great day and uh, talk to you the next time bye